Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. And today we have uh, we will discuss the last uh, step in when we are going to explain the project that is setting up monitoring and logging. So yeah, let's go. Uh, guys, folks, we have reached the last step that is setting up monitoring and logging. So again, we will revise. Step one was provisioning the infrastructure using IAC tools. Second was uh, fetching the code from SCM. Third was setting up the CI/CD pipeline. Fourth was deploying your application. And fifth is setting up monitoring and logging. This is a very important step as a DevOps engineer. You should be aware about monitoring and logging because if any issue is occurring or we have to take precautions before any issue should occur, Monitoring and logging plays a major role. Alerting. So uh, basically, uh, there is a whole new, uh, you know, uh, path also. DevOps SRE, where, you know, uh, site reliability engineer, where a site reliability engineer basically focus on setting up the monitoring and logging for all the applications that are deployed in an organization and alerting so they are responsible for monitoring logging and alerting so this devops sre is a new you know a, a whole path where you can you know uh, you can go also you can uh, uh, you explore this field also where you know uh, basically you will focus on these tools monitoring and logging so SRE is, uh, you know, nowadays very popular and every organization has an opening for SRE. Wherever, uh, the, whenever the organization is using, you know, uh, this uh, cloud platforms or if, they are, if there are applications deployed, then they will have to monitor it. So uh, to monitor it, we are, various organization uses different tools. But the most popular tools are like Prometheus and Grafana. They both work together. Prometheus helps in collecting the logs, matrices, and Grafana is used for the visual representation of dashboards and charts. Then we have the tools like services of cloud itself like Azure Monitor, CloudWatch, and then ELK, Kibana, this is base, uh, these things were basically popular for on-prem, but yeah, we can use it. Datadog, Nangios. So, uh, these tools are popular. So, first of all, for installing the Prometheus, we uh, we can do it uh, direct, through hem charts also. And we can do a direct installation also. So, that I have given the command I have given. I will list down everything in description so that you can set up. Uh, then uh, for Grafana, what uh, and this Prometheus is basically configured. This will be like a pod running, so it must be configured inside a namespace. So you can create a namespace called monitoring. You can kubectl create name ns and give the namespace, and you can create this pod inside that, uh, you know, in that namespace. So this will run as a pod. And then, uh, you know, Grafana, which will be used for visualization. So we can install Grafana also uh, using hem chart. And then in Grafana, we have to go to data sources. We have to choose Prometheus as a source and we have to enter the URL of the Prometheus. And there we can, you know, create or uh, visualize our own matrices. Like if popular are like CPU, memory, pod status and we can make more of the matrices and do it. Okay. Then, uh, you know, there is a difference between logging. There is a difference between, uh, you know, matrices, uh, traces. So, uh, you know, uh, matrices is something like uh, collecting the you know data or at specific time interval like at this time interval cpu utilization was this much this time interval cpu utilization was this much logging is you know whenever uh, uh, anything is happening whenever any api is running whenever any call is happening whenever any you know um, uh, hit is there of an api logging will be done it will be stored in a file 
so from that logs we are you know uh, creating a visualization so for that we will we can use elastic search uh, kibana fluent d kibana kibana is basically again a uh, you know a tool for you know where you can create this visualization elastic search is a tool where you know you can help in log and fluent d helps in sending the logs uh, from elastic search to kibana so this is like uh, these three things will work together so again i have uh, given the uh, steps how to install it how you can do fluent d configuration and then uh, basically basically there are indices elastic search so if you want to go deep dive into it and explore the sre field you have to very well know all this then uh, you you have to access kibana for log visualization okay then we can also set up alerts and notifications because once you know if we have to set up the threshold and once this threshold is crossed then alerting should be done so that before any issue should occur precaution should be taken so for that we can create the uh, there is an alert manager which is you know in prometheus which can send notifications to various channels like slack email or pager duty whatever it is used nowadays in an uh, or in any organization whatever tool is used in from alert manager we can integrate sending of the alerts then there are very cloud native monitoring tools that i already told you like there are cloud watch they are stack driver for google azure monitor they also help in you know monitoring everything on cloud and you, there also you can set up alerts you can create your own, own matrices like if you want to uh, monitor any specific matrix like postgres utilization cpu to is there memory utilization or any specific matrix you can create that in these cloud native tools and uh, we will uh, get the logs uh, of every uh, api hit or everything which is done on the cloud services so from these tools we can do it so uh, basically um, prometheus is for matrix collection grafana is for visualization of matrices fluently for log collection elastic search plus kibana for log story visualization alert manager for sending notification so uh, guys i would suggest like uh, what according to my experience uh, in uh, through the interviews they mostly ask like um, uh, what monitoring tool is being used in your organization and uh, you know uh, do you know how to do it do you know how that monitoring tool has been set up or something so if you are not also that much aware but if you will tell all this step no like we can we are doing it through helm charge i'm not actively uh, in that team i'm not actively doing that work but i have an idea how that team do it so you can if you can st you can tell all this step no that will be a good thing and if and if you have interest in sre or something you can properly do this you know deep dive into these monitoring tools and you can explore the devops sre field too so uh, that is what uh, guys if you want me to make a very uh, you know um, uh, very brief uh, uh video of uh, of the monitoring tool uh then let me know we'll uh try to make out some make a video a brief video for devops sre uh so that uh people who, who are interested in going into that field they can get some idea so yeah so that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful and let me know your views in comment section so yeah, bye, take care.